Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel and this is your tip of the week. I like working with metallic fabrics and also fabrics that have glitter on it, especially around holiday seasons, whether it's Thanksgiving, Christmas, Valentine's, Easter, whatever. So you'll often see stores coming out with glittery looking or shiny looking prints. So I'm going to show you some samples of it. I'll also show you a few of the things I've made out of it. And then I'll go over how I care for those fabrics. In the previous tip of the week, I went over some quilt block ideas and how to coordinate your quilt blocks. One of the blocks I showed you had this fabric in it that's very shiny. And this is one of those fabrics that has metallic silver and glitter on it. Now when you want to add a lot of glitz, really make it shiny and glamorous, is when you would use these. So let me show you a few more examples of the fabrics. This is fall fabrics and you will often see a lot of your fall fabrics with this on it. Now in this one you've got these beautiful uh, goldish reddish leaves and in all the veins are the is the metallic like print that's on it and that's to highlight the veins so that it pops out more. Now in this one this has a very dull background it's a beautiful blue but all of this in here is your metallic gold and glitter that highlights all of this. I love this piece of fabric. This is some fabric I bought many years ago and I did use it once in making a pumpkin pillow. So it is all fall fabrics. They were pre-cut and stitched together. It came that way off the bolt. Every now and then you're gonna see this, but this also would make a really beautiful table runner or decorative pillows to use in the fall season. Now this is some fabric, let me move this out of the way, that I bought recently and this was from Joanne Fabrics and Crafts. Now the other fabrics may or may not still be in the store. I bought this piece of fabric that's a plaid and all of these gold lines in here is that metallic gold like ink or paint. So this is what I made out of those last two fabrics that I just showed you. So here in the middle of the table runner is the plaid and then at each end is this fabric here. Now how I tied it all together was I used metallic gold one inch wide rickrack. So it makes it look like one continuous piece. You don't see the seam. You don't realize it's underneath there. But it really is just, I was just thrilled how this turned out. Now I'm going to show you some of the Christmas fabric I have that also has the metallic and some glitter on it. Now this one is just swirly designs. It just has metallic on it. I don't have much of it left, but I use it every year a little bit now and then. Now this is a beautiful floral poinsettia. There's no glitter on it. It just has the gold metallic to separate where each leaf is beginning or petal is beginning and ending. This is just a gorgeous kind of fairy-like fabric that has a lot of metallic gold over it. Here's another one of those leaves poinsettia leaves and this one I just love. I don't know if I've used any of this uh, lately but I will probably wind up either making some beautiful pillows out of it or a table runner. Now this is metallic gold with kind of a whimsical print, houses and trees. This is really elegant. I've had this for many years and I've used it on a lot of projects. I'm getting a little low on it, but it's just lines. That's all it is. And this is a plaid with a lot of a metallic in it. And I used this one time to make a table runner. 
There's many other things that you can use this metallic print on. This one, I made the Christmas stocking. Up here is a lot of glitter that is on this. And down here, it doesn't look like there's really any metallic, but if you look close, each cardinal bird has gold metallic on the, the wings. Now, you don't have to just use metallic prints on holidays uh, projects. This one is just one of my old cross-stitch projects. And remember in the previous tip, I talked about these little half square triangles. I used a glittery, very glittery, very fine glitter uh, fabric on the corners and it's also on the back. You're probably asking when you buy metallic, can I wash it? Yes and no. Yes, you can wash it, but every time you wash it, you lose a little bit of that shine. So I don't usually wash my glittery fabrics or metallic fabrics because I want to maintain that beautiful glamour look. So if I want to use it on the dining table, I will spray it with Scotch Guard. Otherwise, I don't put it on the dining table. I will put it on some other type of side table. When you first buy it, and you're not gonna wash it, remember, remember I don't recommend washing it, you're gonna press it on the back side. As you're making the project, sooner or later, you're gonna to have to press it on the top to get it all finished off and laying nice and flat. So what I do so that you can protect your iron and also protect the fabric, I will take just a slightly damp cloth and then use the steam iron over the top. That way you keep your iron clean and you don't lose the glitter or any of the metallic onto the iron. I have a lot of problems with my right hand and it was severely injured so my hand does not close. So do, using some of the tools that I have can be challenging and in some cases can't use them at all. So here is a neat little tube turner uh, kit that I just bought and I saw it demonstrated and as soon as I saw it demonstrated I knew I could use it. There's two different sizes in here. There's a really skinny tube turner and then one that's larger. Now on the back it shows you how to use it. So you have your tube all stitched up and at one end it's got to be stitched closed. You insert the tube inside of it. Then you take the stick and you poke it from the other bottom, pushing it through, and it turns it right side out. Now, I've used other tube turners and I couldn't use them at all because it requires two hands. This one kind of requires two hands, but because I'm so used to working around different tools, I knew that I could do this. Now this particular one, I'm sure there's others out there like this. It just says love on it. I can't read the other word that's up there. But you can go on Etsy.com and just enter tube turners. You can go on Amazon and go into the uh, craft and sewing section of Amazon and enter tube turners and look for one that's like this. That tube turner and along with this that I'm about to show you, I purchased at the Sewing and Quilting Center of Southern Utah. They are about to change their name and I just love that place. So as soon as they change their name, I'll let you know. And they're also moving. They're moving into a new building still in the St. George area. If those of you who live in that area, you're aware of Mother Superior Fabrics, they're gonna be moving into that building upstairs. But while I was in the store, I found this neat package of templates, different shapes, there's 50 of them in here. I haven't opened it yet. But this is designed by Lori Holt. I'm a super big fan of hers. I love all her products. I love her sewing kits. I love her cross stitch kits. It's kind of very farm-like, old-fashioned feel. And if you like that kind of feel, 
you're gonna love her products and her fabrics, everything. She's very, very creative. So if you're looking for a lot of different shapes, look for this, it's called B, let's see, B Simple Shapes, and it's B Vintage, I think is the person who puts it out. Now, this table runner that uh, I talked about earlier, there will be a tutorial coming out on this soon. So if you're interested in it, make sure you look out for it. The best way to keep track of what I'm releasing is to be a subscriber so that you get notified. And don't forget, I do a lot of cross stitch tips also. So if you're interested in learning how to cross stitch, I will have a link, playlist link down below for you to review so you can learn how to cross stitch. Also, if you're interested in learning how to make a Christmas stocking, I will have a link below also on the different stockings that I have. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial or this tip of the week. Don't be afraid to work with metallics. They're a lot of fun. Start out with something small, really small, so that you see how the fabrics react to when you're working with it. Now, just scroll down to get to those links. Just scroll down below your YouTube screen to the description section. where When you see the words show more, click on it and it will expand open and you'll see all the links. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and make sure you go and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl, this is Manny, and this is Scotty. See you next time.